Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and thanks for watching. Today's mission is 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. Now it's 50 mistakes that a lot of types of business owners make, but specifically since I'm a restaurateur, I'm gearing these toward restaurants. But please, if you own another business, feel free to watch and uh, let me know what you think. So today's topic, this video's topic is about no strings attached offers versus offers with strings attached. First off, a no strings attached offer would be an offer that you send out, however you get it to the person. Here's $10, come in, spend $10 at my restaurant, no strings attached, no minimum, um, you can combine it with other offers, you can dine in, take out, you can do whatever you want, just here's 10 bucks. Here's a $10 certificate of some form to, uh, you know, to come in, come in and spend at my restaurant. Strings attached offer would have limitations such as dine-in only, not valid towards alcohol, not valid towards tax tip, cash back, may not be combined with other orders, things like that, other offers, things like that. Now the advantage to offering with the strings is a restaurant can have the chance to now make money. If you're not ad advertising, if you're not giving it towards alcohol, a customer would come in and have a meal and drink have a pizza and drink or hopefully that you know that's the plan to spend above and beyond ten dollars and make some extra money for the operator um, tax is not included because if you're giving away something why should I as the owner be responsible for paying the government their sales tax okay so it's just a liability that the owner has to have so strings versus no strings that's the difference with the two offers now when do you give that to the people walking in your door what is the best offer for these people okay so here's what I do and I used to not do this I used to give a no strings attached for anybody and I just kept losing money left and right first time I did a no strings attached offer the people came in and sat sat at my bar and had several drinks and spent to that amount the $25 that we gave a no strings offer and uh, drank and left and didn't even tip I was like wow this is not good if I would have put not valid towards alcohol, they would have come in, had some food, drank, and it would have been a much better situation. I would have at least been able to get some money into my register. So here's how we do it now. If you're a guest on my loyalty program and you spend $200 in a cumulative time period, it can be over the year or whatever, but as soon as you reach the $200 milestone, which isn't much of a milestone in my restaurant, I send you in the mail a $10 award certificate, which is $10 no strings attached because the people that are getting that actually earned it they've been in my restaurant before they're great customers and they actually earned it now I would not give that same offer to somebody who's coming into my restaurant for the first time because they're not part of my loyalty program I don't know how many times they're gonna be with me they could just be coming in because they got an offer in a newspaper or a mailing or somewhere else and never come back again so that's the difference. If they've been in your restaurant and they've given you the business and they've earned it, give them no strings. Let them come in. Let them take out. Let them do whatever they want because that's their reward for patronizing you. But if you're putting an ad in a paper, free dessert, you know, make sure it's with an entree. If you're doing, you know, save $10 off your bill, make sure they're spending $20 or $30. Make sure there's some kind of stipulation there so you as a restaurant owner still have a chance to make some money back. Now, if they come in and they like your place, then get them on your loyalty program, sign them up, and then move forward with that. Because then if they do spend $200 or $100 or whatever you deem a fair amount, then send them a no strings attached offer after that. So those are the differences when you do a strings versus no string. Regular customer versus a first time customer. Okay, I don't like to use the word customer, I like to use the word guest. There are guests. It's my restaurant, and you're my guest in my establishment. I'm Chef Marcus Juliano. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please email me at marcus at marcusg.tv, like television, marcus at marcusg.tv. Thanks for watching.